What is up, everybody? You got Count Yarrior here, back with another guest commentation narration for Dockeridge. This is uh, RW versus Eladin. I think I'm just gonna call him RW. Uh, once again for Snake, I think RW is with the Sidewinders and Eladin. I don't know. Or uh, I, I literally never know the teams. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Look at the teams. Eladin actually brought a lone executor, which I know Finchinator has been a big fan of, as you can actually see in the chat right now. Um, they often run specs. I've seen some citrus berry harvest ones, but uh, specs is the most common one. I think combi is really broken, which is also an Eladin's team, so it's going to be interesting. As uh, they both lead off with Pissimi and probably want a U-turn both. Um, I could see Eladin go out into Zato here to maybe get some rocky helmet damage off, but that would allow our Darby to get an Incineroar, and Eladin doesn't really want to take a knockoff on anything. Um, his Incineroar could be, could be Z, so that takes it on a bit, but not great. In fact, uh, Incineroar on RW side actually goes in versus Eladin pretty well. Like, I like it. Whereas, uh, Alone Executor kind of does the same thing because uh, Draco slash Leafstorm is going to pick up a KO. And he does U-turn. He's slower because he's banded. That's definitely banded damage. Fixed Rocky Helmet damage. Uh, goes out into Incineroar. Once again, Eladin doesn't deal with this too well. I'm assuming RW is just going to knock off because it's it's really no drawback. Uh, get rid of any item and unless it's a Z and then you notice what the Z is. So that's great. Um, a lot of shyness this match, interesting. Goes for the U-turn, gets some chip off on Incineroar. Incineroar goes out into Incineroar. Or uh, Eladin goes out into Incineroar. On the sword stance, and this could be ground EMZ. So I could see Eladin scouting for that. By going into, uh, I don't even know what. Would you go into Zatu? You kind of need Zatu though. It's, uh, uh you don't need it. <laughs> I guess you could go Zatu, but it's really nice for his Steelix, so... Yeah. I also don't know what kind of Incineroar this is from Eladin. If this is Ground Demon, then it could also kill the opposing Incineroar. Um, another Shiny, by the way. Yeah, he's a Shiny Hunter. Um, I could see RW just switching as well, like scouting for the Ground Demon on his opponent's side. Going hard to Golbat, for example, would kind of work. Even going hard to Slowbro if it's uh, Cold Berry would work. But there's there's no special wall in this team. This has to be AV, bro. Whereas an Eladin... It's probably like Spread Death Steelix with... You know, a bulky comfy, which is the best comfy with Combine. Scarf, Simeon, SD, Incineroar, Specs, Executor, I'm assuming. So, I'm not sure what kind of Incineroar this is. It looks to be some sort of Spadef Incineroar, right? Because otherwise he just loses to Vanillix. I don't. <laughs> I think he has to be some, like, either Berry or Assault Vest Incineroar, because, like, Vanillix would literally claim a kill every single time. Um... So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is SD. It could be, but maybe it's Pedef SD. That's actually a set that's been used uh, more recently as well. As they're taking their time, um, yeah. If 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 I'm Elod in here, I would probably scout for ground team, and if I'm RW, I'd probably do the same. But considering Eladin's has to be bulky, maybe you just throw off a move. Hell, if if RW is U turn, that's great here. But I don't think he's SD U-turn. He could be. It's definitely a set. But it's not used as much. Um, they are taking their sweet time. God damn, it's been like two minutes. Uh, so Bandit Passimian versus Aladdin is... It's okay. If it's Gong Shot, then it's actually quite good. Because that should KO Executor as well as the Comfy. And um, I think Lix... I think it goes down to Sturdy with Bandit Close Combat. I think it does. So like, Zatu is not going to take a knockoff either, especially after the U-turn turn 1. He goes to, into Pissimian on the regular Earthquake. Wow. Well played by Darby. If it was Z Earthquake, then he didn't need to throw it out there. Um, he would have killed the Pissimian, but Pissimian is not really that much of a threat to him. He does have a Slowbro, a Golbat, um, his own Pissimian, which takes it on decently. Goes to Golbat. I understand that he doesn't need it too much. As Aladdin just used turns on it and goes out into... Into what? Like, Incineroar again? You could go Steelix. I like the Steelix here. You could just rocks up. Uh, let's go with a Super Fang, which is not that common. Uh, you just get your rocks up for free, basically. He does get to go out into Slowbro then, or even well, I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go Septo on a full Steelix. Yeah, he does go Steelix. He's probably gonna go for rocks. SRW is probably gonna go into Slowbro. That makes the most sense to me. Um, I'm gonna assume it's AP bro, and I wonder what he's gonna do. He could go for Future Shine. Uh, he could just scald on the Steelix, but I doubt the Steelix would stay in. Considering um, Golbat is actually a bit of a problem <laughs> if this Steelix goes down, because 
it, it takes on like he needs Golbet for the for the Comfy, right? RW. He needs it for the Comfy. Comfy is a big threat in this tier. Uh, but Golbet also takes on the Executor decently because it will take a Draco, can just roost up, and after that it's it's just walling it. And Brave Bird is gonna do a very large amount, like I would say 70 or something. Um, and it even takes on the Pessimian, so I think Golbat matches up fairly well versus Adeline's team. Um, so I don't, don't, I don't think he will ever let it get damaged, or too damaged anyway. I wonder how much specs Draco does to the Golbat. He does go for rocks, which makes sense. RW could just, I mean, he could throw off a Scalder, hoping to burn anything at all. But if Adeline goes out into Executor, then that's a bit of a problem. If he has Ice Beam, he might click it, but that's not that common. They usually Flamethrower is called Future Sight, and uh, and what's the move? Is it Ice Beam? No. Hmm, I forgot what the last move is. I've actually seen Psy Shock and Future Sight as well, but uh, he goes out to Comfy on the Slurbo. Now RW could just go out to Golbat and Defog again, but that gives Eladin another uh, Lick Switch in, and Golbat just takes Rocks plus whatever Comfy's attack is. Um, I wonder if this Comfy is three attacks Life Orb with the Calm Mind, which in my opinion is an incredible set. Or if it's like the Synthesis 2 attacks Call Mindset. I've even seen uh, sub leech sets, but I don't think those are great. So, Comfy in versus Slowbro. Uh, Slowbro stays in, which I'm assuming it's AV then. It goes for Scald. The future side is up right now, but it's kind of nice. Uh, since Comfy Calm Minded, I don't think RW wants to stay in with Slowbro, and Slowbro matches up decently versus Elanin. So, I think you just go out into Golbat, which should take it on. Um, if it's not toxic Golbat, it's going to be a bit tougher, but Comfy really can't touch Golbat too well. Training kiss to 17, which I think it means it's, oh there's the future side, uh, the draining kiss damage I think means it's fist death Golbat, so I'm assuming he roosts, yeah, and he could just defog here, but then Lix gets him up again, it really doesn't matter, uh, but if you defog here then you get a free switch into probably slow bro, he goes hard Basimian on the heavy slam, <laughs> ouch, I wonder what he's going to do here, because he could close combat on the Steelix, uh, but if Edadin goes into Satu, then... He takes Rocky Hellman and he dies to... Does he die to rocks? 16 plus 6? It depends on what his HP currently is, but he might die to rocks afterwards. Um, whereas if he knocks off, he at least gets rid of Celix's leftovers, which could be nice. But he will also lose his Basimian. Like, I mean, if Celix stays in, he loses his Basimian anyway. But then Steelix at least goes down to... I think sturdy. I think Bandit Close Combat should bring it down. Goes Comfy on the Close Combat. Oh, that's not gonna enjoy. It's gonna die. Jesus. I was gonna say he's not gonna enjoy it, but it just it just straight up dead. <laughs> uh, which is nice for a W because it frees up uh, Golbat a lot, and it can use Golbat as a pivot more. Um, it also means that the Simeon stays alive. Maybe he predicted a knock up and it was a mid ground play because he didn't want Lix to get knocked nor Zatu to die, uh, which I kind of understand. But can't be so good, dude. I don't think you sack it there. Goes hard into Zatu or goes into Zatu, and he could just U turn here because. RW is not going to close combat as to And you just get the momentum. I mean, it, it did cost you a month, so uh, is it worth it? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see any re any world where Zato doesn't U-turn it, but RW goes out into... I could see him go out into Slowbro, but then the Executor comes in. I, it comes in on a lot, actually. <laughs> Maybe Golbat? If you go Golbat, what does he do? He does go Licks actually, on the Utah, I'm assuming. Yep. Uh, I think he might get back to full with leftovers. to sturdy. Um, Eladin should go out into... Maybe Executor anyway, but he does go with Cinnamor. He does go to full, okay. I could see Steelix try to set up rocks now, but... Eladin could just double back to Zatu. It really doesn't matter too much. I think that's Eladin's safest play, because rocks kind of hurt him. Or you turn into Zatu, yeah. That's a fine play. Um, mm -hmm. He does do that, as Steelix is out to... Earthquake, hoping the Incineroar would stay in. Uh, goes back to his sturdy, but it shouldn't matter at this point. And I think Zatu could just, depending on what its attacking move is, maybe Nightshade he could throw that off. Because it is Nightshade, yeah. It's uh, pretty common. Now Slowbro, I want to know if it has Ice Beam or not, but I think Future Shot is just the, the best move here. Um, he already showed it, and it just it just gives you a lot of momentum. He go goes out to Executor on the Future Shot. This is really good for Eladin, because he basically gets a kill if he predicts right. I think... Draco is to play because Slowbo should die to Draco and even Steelix, which is the quote unquote resist, will take a lot. Um, he could Leaf Storm here, but RW doesn't need to go with that much anymore. I, I think Leaf Storm is a fine play. Mm -hmm. After Rocks, I think Lix actually dies 
because it's not as sturdy anymore. And alone executor is 125 special attack. So, yeah. <laughs> I think he leaves Tormir. But I... But Draco is still a decent play. Ah, it's tough. The problem with both of those moves is that you get minus two special attack. You're, you know, you're forced out again. And if you don't get a KO, then you're still a mon behind. Um, I think RW is in a pretty decent position right now. Goes out to Celix. He still has a future side up. I want you to remember that. Leaf Storm, it just knocks it the fuck out. Get out of here. <laughs> God. Septa comes in. Uh, it should be live from HPI if he does this. Um, I could see him focus blasting here. Trying to catch, you know, Incineroar or Lix. I could definitely see him do that. Um, HPI still doesn't lose you much. But if it's AV Incineroar, then it might not die after that damage plus focus blast. Also, if he does go out hard into Persimian, which I don't think is a very good play, but he could, uh, then he will take the HPIs way better than the Focus Blast. I think I would Focus Blast here. Like, the Executor, even if he stays in, it's a resisted hit at minus two. It shouldn't do that much. Obviously, Sceptile is frail, but it's not that frail. I mean, it's 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 going to take it. Um, yeah, I think he Focus Blast here. If he goes into Zatu, he can always HPIs after, and it should still die. Because uh, Zatu runs physical defensive. Goes into Incineroar on Focus Blast and it lands the 66%. And it's for Death Drop. I don't think this for Death Drop matters. That's Future Side. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why he actually had to go out into Incineroar. If he went out to Persimian, would have died. If he went out to uh, Steelix, then probably. I mean, Future Side is a strong attack. I don't know how much investment uh, Slowbro is running, but that's fine. Um, I think the only way that Sceptile's killing this sooner or even with his death drop should be Focus Blast. Because that looks to be a... Uh, is that AV? Or is it, uh, that's AV. That has to be AV. Look at that damage. That's AV. So I think the only way to knock it out right now is with another Focus Blast. I don't think Leaf Storm does it. Because Incineroar is just really bulky. So I think you actually... Do you go for it? He does. Okay, and he lands <laughs> like a god. And... Uh, Sceptile is still at neutral, so that's kind of nice. Pissimi comes in, he's going to U-turn. RW could go out into... Do you sack your own Pissimi in here? You might. Uh, you could go Golbat? Okay. I guess what the Golbat does is it doesn't allow in the Alolan Executor, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. So he U-turns on the Golbat. I'm assuming he's going to go out into Steelix or Zatu. Steelix, most likely. But then what? Because if he goes Steelix, then RW just goes out into Slowbro. So do you double? Do you double to Executor here, hoping Golbat doesn't have U-turn? I think you do that. Because he's in the back. Oh, he doesn't. He just Fox on the Curse. Okay. So now RW is 100% forced out. I think I would double here. Okay, that, that grip makes sense, but... Because because you wanted to keep your rocks up. Slowbro gets up his rock skin. I understand, but like you need the momentum. Does he go into Executor now? He does, and our W reads that very well. I think knocking off here is actually fine. You get rid of Pissimian Scarf, which is great. You kill Zatu, or you get rid of... Uh, well, Executor Spec is obviously amazing, as well as Steelix's Leftovers. You should still do a good amount to all of them. Yeah, I think it's no drawback. Dr drawback. Drawback. Mm -hmm. If you get rid of Pissimian Scarf, then... Um, Sceptile will always unspeed it. Which is, uh, you know, big. Because then nothing on Eladin's team might speed it. And I think Septal just kills everything. So going into Pissimian here on a knockoff would just lose Eladin the game. He wouldn't have anything for Septal anymore. Because his... Uh, well, both his checks basically died. <laughs> both his best checks. Because Comfy obviously has his priority Drainy Kiss. Which, you know, Septal is frail. So it's going to do a lot. Um, you could stay in here. But I don't think you're going to take it very well. Knockoff on the Celix makes sense. Get rid of the leftovers, which is kind of nice. Like, Celix was just the best play there, um, but still losing your leftover sucks. RW is going to go into slow row. Does Aladdin predict that this time? He doesn't. That's still a lot. I mean, I know it's not fist to have slow row, but holy shit. That's like max stack Steelix, I think. Goes to Executor again. RW, it's his old best, obviously. Future side goes off. There's no dark tap anymore. There is a Zatu, but still not going to enjoy it because they run fist tap, as I said. Executor is probably just going to go for... Draco here. I don't know if that kills Slowbro. I'm assuming it does, because it's specs and executors are really, really strong. Yeah, our Darby just has no switch in. Sex off a Simeon to the Draco Meteor. It's at minus two now, though, which is nice. And you could go into your own Sceptile again, 
You could even go in Cinema if you really wanted to, or Golbat. The rocks are actually really annoying at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I could see him go to Sceptile because he has HPI and scares it out. And... Would you Focus Blast again? I don't know. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bit tougher. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would still go Sceptile though. You only take 12 from rocks, you might speed everything that's not the Pessimium. Uh, Adathin just doesn't deal with it as well. These specs grass types, dude. They're putting in work. Well, I mean, Sceptile's not specs, but it's life work, but it's still. It goes to slow, bro. I mean, it's at minus two, so that makes sense. Especially if it's specced in. Minus two Drago is not going to do much to AP Pro. Um, I wonder what Pro is going to click here. I think Scald is to play. Because you catch everything with decent damage. I don't think Future Shining again is very nice. I think Scalding is actually better. If it goes Lix that dies. If it goes Pessimian, you either do a lot or you kill it. You, you might even burn it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what Pessimian's uh, HP is currently. But I think it's decently high. And Zatu, Zatu is at, I think it's still at the U-turn damage from the Planet Pessimian, so 62. Um, and I don't know how much, yeah, it's, oh, Skulls, doesn't do very much. Okay, so it's, with Future Side it kills though, wow, I forgot that was still up. That's one of the good things about Future Side, the opponent always forgets it. Executor's in again, um, and now it becomes a bit of prediction play. Because I think... Uh, if he leaves Storms on the Slowbro, it dies. If he leaves Storms on the Golbat, it does nothing. If he Dracos on the Slowbro, I don't think it dies. And he could just slack it off. If he Dracos on the Golbat, then it dies. So it's kind of a 50-50 here. Uh, RW does have a few sacks though, which is really nice. Especially in Sinor, he doesn't really need a Sinor for much. Um, but I think you just go for the 50. Do you? Uh, I don't know. That's tough. I think if you predict anything, I would I would slack off here. Yeah. If I would make a prediction, I would slack off here for sure. Let's see. Uh, it's tough. It's it's that's definitely a tough turn. Considering the skull damage, though. This is this slow bro shouldn't be very strong. Like it's not very special attack investment. And And the Earthquake from Steelix did a lot. So it's not very physically defensive either. So either it's running a lot of speed, or it's actually a spedeft assault by Slowbro. If it is, then it should easily be able to eat up uh, Draco. I'm still confused about the earthquake damage. I did 30, dude. He was slow bro. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, just because Slowbro is that incredibly bulky. Look at how many shiny Pokemon are on, the, are on this battle, by the way. I haven't even noticed the Slowbro is shiny this entire battle. But yeah, I would. I think I would slack off here, predicting Draco. Because Draco hits everything hard on, from, from Aladdin's point of view, right? He does Draco, he misses. And Slowbro throws off a few to set. Now, RW knows he's locked into Draco, so he can stay in and slack off again. I think I would have slacked off the first time. He's not slacking off at all. Okay. Um, he's Assault Fest, so I don't know why I said that. The Future Side and Flamethrower makes sense then. Um, especially the Future Side is going to be very, very, very annoying for RW. Uh, for Aladdin. Drake, another Draco is going to kill though, so I'm assuming RW is going to switch to Incineroar. The Future Side is still up. Do you stack this? I think you could just Scald as well. Because if the executive stays in, it's gonna take, it's gonna take the uh, the future side, which, I mean, it's probably gonna tank it, but not very well, which means Incineroar will then kill it. Ah, that's tough because Slowbro still takes on the Pessimian and Steelix, so I think you just switch here. Slowbro is just too good at this matchup to to give it up. Funnily enough, the uh, the best checks in Slowbro are all dead already. <laughs> he goes Golbat on another Draco, yeah. And it does. Holy! It almost killed at minus two. There's a the future side. Yeah. And now Golbat has to roost. It has to. Yep. And it might defog again here. I'm not sure. This what's the Celix gonna do? Is it gonna curse again? Is it gonna heavy slam? It's gonna gyro. I mean, setting up rocks literally does nothing for you after you defog like zero. Going into. <sighs> Going into executor does nothing. What does he do? He does curse. Yeah, it makes sense. So now RW is forced into Slowbro once again. 
And I still want to see that double into Executor from Steelix because it just... You have to pressure RW at this point if you're Aladdin. You have to. Like, I understand that after, after boosting you don't want to switch, but you have to, dude. He goes to Slowbro. Ah, finally. Like, he had to make that play. Once again, it comes down to Leaf Storming or Dracoing. I don't know if the Slowbro dies from Draco at this point. It very real might. 57. The last... What did the last one do again? 50-something, right? 49. Okay, so it just dies now to Flamethrower. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think Slowbro just wins it at this point. Simeon, you could just switch out to... Sod... Uh, to... Golbat, sorry. You don't need Golbat for anything else. Whatever, you could even go Incineroar. It, it really doesn't matter too much. You just need to regen on the slow bro. ASAP. And I think Brock's off the field. I think uh, he defogged those. When Seedlix didn't set them up. So that's kind of nice. Goes to Golbat on the U-turn. That's fine. If he goes out into Steelix, you could just go Bro again. Especially if he runs a speed on Bro. Uh, Steelix is not going to do any damage to it. Like I said, the Earthquake did around 30, and he should be at 40 right now, something around that. And if he runs even a little bit of speed on Bro, I'm, I'm sure it should not speed the Steelix. And he just clicks Cult. And if he doesn't click Earthquake, then yeah, then Slowbo just gets health back. So you always click Cult here. Easily. It's easy to play. RW has too many stacks uh, with regen Slowbro to lose this. I think this, this game should be over. He's called here. Um, I don't know if it kills the Steelix, but it's going to do a lot. Goes to Simeon. Is that going to die? Does it burn? It does. That should be over. GG. Yeah, that should be GG. Is it Clicks called again? Yep. Is it dead? It isn't dead. Does it burn again? No. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. That's 29. I still think that's a lot of damage. But yeah, RW wins the game. My man. Uh, four Rogues, Aladdin in a very good game. Um, yeah. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe to Doc and me if you haven't already. And I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Alright, later.